Hello everybody, my name is Sammy Small World and welcome back to the Sammy Small World channel. Today we are playing more Guilty Gear Strive, practicing Angie Mito. We are about to hop into some online matches, get some good practice and have some fun. But uh, the patch came out today with Jacko, the 1.09 update I believe. And with that we got a couple of character buffs, a couple of character nerfs, mostly just soul nerfs. But the big thing is Anja can do this now. Which is just amazing. He can cancel anything he wants into Fujin, so Fujin is no longer a very unsafe move. And in fact, it's even scarier because now you can do things like this, for example, in a. Uh, give me a second. Now you can do this, for example. Go for lows instead of hitting Fujin, or just go straight for the overhead, which is pretty wild, or even just jump around if you really want to. I've been doing this a lot. Instead of closing the gap on some people. There we go. But yeah, let's see how much we could implement this new technique in the uh, overall couple of matches we got. They did add a couple of other things, such as making, I believe, this move a little bit safer on the uh, on block. A little bit more advantage for Anji, and I did hear they, uh, they increased the hitbox of his parry attack, so po it could possibly hit enemies from behind now, but we'll just have to wait and see. So we'll be right back with our next match. Alright, and we are back with our first match, which is a Jacko. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of people obviously playing her today because it's a uh, brand new character, you know, new character week. We are probably going to play her tomorrow. I just want to have a lot of fun with the new Anji buffs because they are so crazy good. Oh, I've never seen this skin on her yet. That's nice. The Halo's really cool. wonder what, if they have any interesting dialogue between each other. Start thinking up an excuse. <laughs> Your psyche is... <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just start. All right. Yeah, so uh, I, they didn't even mention that Jekyll has a projectile in her gameplay trailer. That's her jumping dust attack, as she shoots a little projectile at you. It would have been nice to see mentioned. Nice. See, it makes Anji's mix up a little bit better that he can do that now because it's just a way faster conversion. Like, now I don't have to hit the shoulder and go for the low, they don't have time to predict or I don't have time to think, I can just go for the low. So, miss. One of my new favorite things to do, is going in with projectile on you. Uh oh. Nice. Some wall break? This doesn't wall break, huh? Nice. Yep. There we go. <laughs> wow, that's a really nice skin, though. Let's see if we can't get another rematch. No, these buffs are not exactly what I had in mind for Anji. I wanted him to be a little bit, uh, a little bit more safer when he uh, used some of his options, because you know, still failing on using his options doesn't really result in. You know, you being too close or safe or anything, it's really dangerous to fail any of his moves. But it gives you a new way to go in. Nice. I did not. Oh, that's a grab. Nice. 
nice. Oh. Nice. Watch, he's going for a lot of grabs. I... Oh, that was irritating. There we go. Yep. We can play the grab game. I do not mind. if we can't get one more round with my opponent and then we'll try finding another one. Yeah, definitely like it. And, so the and he only really has up to go from here. Duel now, as for Gold Lewis, they didn't really fuck him too much. Kind of a shame. Helping you? I, I that minion just watching her. Oh my god! Uh, all of Jacko's animations though are fucking beautiful. They, they're all so well done. So that's my new favorite thing to do after grab. I have never been a fan of the butterfly, and now they did that. Go. Perfect. Oh, that was perfect. Wow. All right. So we'll try and go finding a new match. I'll dance with you anytime. We'll be right back with our next match. All right, and we are back with our next match. This is a level 338 Kai, so that should be fun. My least favorite matchup in this whole game is still Kai, and I know they buffed him a little bit. They made his dragon install better and his uh whatever low sweep kick move is, but I'm hoping maybe this matchup's a little better for me. I'm hoping my matchup is a little better against anyone really who has a DP, but we can't all be that lucky. What? I'm surprised. Nice. There we go. There we go. Woo! <laughs> Go! 
There we go. Oh, another perfect. Wow. Whew. I definitely think the matchup might... It feels a little better. It feels like I can mix up Kai a little more before he just DPs me, but... Maybe he's just not DPing hard enough. <laughs> Yeah, well, that was just that was just a sad sequence of events, but oh my god! Yeah, them increasing the range of Fujin was probably the best one. There we go. Well then. Woo! Alright. Let's try to get one more good match and we'll call it a video. But no, I can definitely notice those Anji buffs. They are feeling really good right about now. I really wish our opponent would drag an insult or at least try one time so we could see the new Kai buffs. He's uh back dashing a lot. There we go. Now he might get this match because he's really going strong. There we go. Yeah, he's going strong this match. Yep. Remember that is safe. So that's the new setup for Anji as long as I'm as far as I'm concerned. I like that one. go well that I'm just so happy these buffs came out they have honestly made Anji a so much better character in my opinion I think this makes him a more complete character not really a more overpowered or anything just definitely a more balanced and complete character well anyway thank you all for joining me in this episode or I keep calling episode in uh, this video I appreciate all the support and I hope you'll support me in the next one my name is Sammy Smalls and I hope everyone has a great night